Don Lebatard. This is coming out of Stugatz's mouth. Yeah. Tiger Woods is in the lead. When he wins one, he's going to win a whole bunch. I'm going to have the last laugh. Yep. Just knee-jerk hot take. Tiger's back. I'm going to have the last laugh, even though I don't remember any other points that involve you having the first laugh. I didn't even understand what you were doing. Stugatz. I am telling you, if he just wins one tournament, because the field's not very good, he's going to win a bunch. Okay? He's going to go on a run. It's my feeling. Just need some confidence. I mean, the last time you had one of these feelings, we countered with all of these numbers, and next thing you know, you look like Guy Fieri. This is the Dan Levatar Show with the Stugatz on the ticket. The one problem for us, Mike, that Stugatz is shameless is a benefit to Stugatz in these circumstances because I couldn't, with a straight face, keep up the facade of I didn't make a bet. And the people on Sports Center are familiar with Stugatz's work because they the way that they framed it was you guys made that bet, right? Right. And yes, we made the bet because this is how the show ended yesterday. Stugatz took Cleveland, I took Golden State. We were building up to it. We were putting pressure on Stugatz and really if we get right down to it, the reason this keeps happening is because we keep putting pressure on Stugatz. And I put very little of it on Stugatz. Wow. It's actually Mike. Yeah. It's Stugatz. Stugatz, if I'll let you out of the bet right now. Right, I no. will I will let you out of the bet right now. No. No. No, come on, Sugat. You can't embarrass a show like that. We just got national attention on Sports Center. This is a big thing. Come on. Man, no, 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 I'm, I'm back in. I'm back in. I'm back in. Back in. Back in. You are Sports Center. You guys just back in. You guys, the only way I get on you Sports guys, Center, I'm you, back in. You guys just saw how it happened. Jamie Sire's going to interview you. This is going to be awesome. Come on, the Gandhi. No, she's going to interview Dan about me, but I'm back in. I'm back in. I'm back in. Unless Dan gives me another out, and then I'm out. All right. Well, this is the end of the show, and this is Stugatz claiming, okay? Stugatz is claiming that he didn't. And I don't know if this is contractually binding. I don't know if we got a lawyer involved with this, if this would classify as an oral commitment, because we're building up for a half hour to the end of the show. We're up against the clock, and Stugatz is waffling, and the terms of the bet are Stugatz, if Cleveland loses, has to get a belly button ring, and if Golden State loses, I have to be, uh, I have to recreate the pose of Prince Fielder, uh, in his, uh, follow through. Uh, nude on the cover of ESPN the magazine with uh, my thigh, my substantive thigh covering my private parts. That's, I, the stakes are larger for me. Well, are well, they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> larger yeah. might not sure? be the verb yeah. I want to go with. Well, but I th- I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you sure? I'm pretty sure. I'm You'd pre- be surprised. <laughs> Low hanging fruit. Oh. What's low hanging fruit? No one has ever described that as low hanging fruit. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. If you're saying I'd be surprised and we're not on television this week, I say we do it right here. <laughs> surprise me, big boy. Uh, I didn't say what kind of surprise. <laughs> It's like a crying game surprise. No, it'll be it'll be just like it'll be nothing there. I'll be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, it's a Ken doll. Isn't that where reproductive stuff is supposed to be? It's a Ken. It's a man. Wait a minute. So all these years, two guys has been a mannequin. All right. So this is where the show ended. Gosh, I think that would be funny. Um. <laughs> I think it would be funny to do that, to do that on the radio. I mean, it would be totally morning show hijinks. But the idea of who's is bigger? <laughs> I love the podcast description. <laughs> Dan and Sue Gods have a competition. No, who's no, is bigger. no, but no, no, no. But, but now make us actually doing it. Like you guys, you guys thought it was great when we oh. t- when we turned the. Uh, Turn the computer around and you were staring at Russell Westbrook uh, dunking on Shane Battier and you were reacting to it in real time when Battier was on. Imagine the reaction 
of you guys just shouting when both me and Stu got standing there. How would we do this? Hold on. Maybe let's save it for national. How how would we do this? How, what? <laughs> how would we do this? Would we stand next to each other? And then one, two, three, and then... Well, I think you need to stand, like, they need to see a side angle of both of us, I feel like. No! Profile. No! <laughs> you like realize side by we're side. the ones losing this bet. <laughs> Everyone loses. Well, you get to measure. Always no one. Oh, we'd have to... We, what is that? <laughs> what, what, what is Roy? Don't know. Don't give that job to Roy. I'm, I'm delegating Roy this task. Roy quits. <laughs> You won't need to measure. You'll, you'll be able to tell just by looking. He lies about even this. Show him just enough to win, Milty. Have you ever heard that story? Do you guys know that story? Oh, it's a great story. <laughs> it's a famous story in Hollywood. Guillermo, put it on the pole there. Do you, the, do you know the show them just enough to win, Milty story? Milton Berle was famous for having a giant penis. Oh, he had a hammer, huh? And he would do competitions, and his friends would gather around and would say the phrase, show them just enough to win, Milty. Wow. <laughs> like, don't. That's a great story. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> just enough. I really can't picture that. I mean, I know I it is. It's hard. It's, it's hard. To, well. well Play the end of the show yesterday. Play the end of it to see if this is an oral binding contract. Um, Belly ring or Prince Fielder? Come on, man. Yeah. Make up your mind, Come on. Man. Or Gorilla Pit. We throw you in a Gorilla Pit. Or, yeah, you die. Uh, people are saying pit. I'd be welcome in a Gorilla Pit. You'd fit right Got in. Got 20 seconds, man. That's your brother, man. Uh, well, Don't let the show down. Yeah. All right. You good with the belly button ring? Oh, God. Are you good with so it? So much worse. Yeah. Are you good with it? I mean, it's, I, I'm better with ring. the Prince Fielder thing. Belly ring. You do belly ring, I'll do Prince Fielder. Ooh, I like that. Prince Fielder? Let's go, LeBron! <laughs> I mean, that's we how the, the show I, I, ended. Yeah, I don't know. I think we need to have – it might be a waste of his time, but I think Lester Munson should come on and tell us if that's binding or not because I don't feel like it is. All right. Okay. 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 Get we'll get Lester right. Munson we'll waste on. his time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we need to get Lester Munson on and see if that's a legally binding contract, if that's an oral contract. <laughs> Extra just sent in. What the hell is going on? Yeah, a good question. <laughs> Texter also writes in, I feel like ESPN fats and info needs to measure. I mean, it is fats and info. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and fats and info, no shame in fats and info's game. He'll do just about anything we need him to do, even if it's measure a couple of penises. How uh, how great is it that, that Stugatz, I mean, even about that, right? Because how many different ways has Stugatz been exposed in the history of this show? Where I'm great at this, I'm the greatest ever, I'd win any ping pong tournament, I, I'm just the greatest. I mean, he's got some, that even on this subject, that Stugatz, like, okay, put that up on the poll, Guillermo. Do you believe that Stugatz actually has a substantive penis? <laughs> Put that up on the poll. I mean, are we really putting that up? I mean, there? yeah. I mean, just put it up there. So you usually win these polls, Stu. <laughs> package or package yeah. or junk or poll or however it is that you want to put it up there. Yeah. Oh, you want to take a bet? Chris thinks uh, he does. Yeah. How, I mean, let me, uh, all right. Well, let's take some wagers. Just show me it. I mean, I'm five seven, Chris. I, I know. <laughs> he's, he's trying to talk you off here. He's Maybe he's just trying to lower expectations. <laughs> well, but I mean, it's just. I, I, it can't I, be any lower. I mean, Stugatz is 5'7. And Chris just realized he's also 5'7. <laughs> Got tiny fingers, tiny hands. Let's call Abby. Let's not. <laughs> Oh, man. It's been a weird show. Yeah, yeah, yeah it has. One of those finals. Yeah, yeah. It has. 
cares? Glorious, man. How has this never become a point of, like, we usually stumble into conversations that we've had before. How in the history of this show is this the first time that this is making an appearance? I mean, aren't all friendships, like, they boil down to this essentially. Like, this argument has to be had at least once. I'm surprised it's taken us this long. All male yeah. friendships? Yeah. yeah. About time. It's another example of how primitive and barbaric, how caveman we are. It's kind of amazing. I'm legitimately surprised that this is the first time this conversation has made an appearance. I'm, I'll tell you what's surprising about it. That for the first time, Stu Gatz has felt the need to announce, you'd be surprised by my low-hanging fruit. <laughs> and, and, I mean... <laughs> I, and, and and what's funnier still about this is if we keep going back and back and peeling back the layers on this ridiculous conversation, where we will arrive is that without it ever being stated, I've simply always assumed you have a small penis. Like, it's not something I've ever thought about before, like, I, or not consciously thought about it, but, but now... It's weird, man. I know, but I got news for you. I, it's an accurate thought. <laughs> I thought about yours as well. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I need to... I need to no, no, I need to... I need to backtrack that. I need to rewind the entire, <laughs> the entire conversation. I need to rewind the entire conversation. I, I don't know if I'm making sense because I feel like everyone has received this the same way that Stugatz did, King of Subtlety, where it becomes, I've thought about yours as well, which is not what I was saying. It's it not, sounded that way. No, it, did, it may have. That's the fault of the communicator. It may have sounded I'd like that to way. put that on the poll. Um, <laughs> did it sound that way? Right, fine. At Levitard Show, did it sound that way? I, did anyone understand what I was trying to say there? Because this has not come up conversationally at any point. You've just always assumed Sugat has a small yeah, penis, which means it. you've thought about no, it. But it's, yeah. Yeah. No, but yes. here, here's the thing. Let me think of, let me think. <laughs> about his... Now, uh, I, I've always assumed Mike Ryan is heterosexual because it's not something I've ever actually given any thought. I've never, I, I just thought it was so close to being a fact yeah. that it might as well not be something that you would have to give any thought. You mean before you went to my wedding? Right. Yeah. That's yeah, it. yeah. Right. I've always thought Roy was black. Like these are obvious things, although I guess I've seen... Yeah, that's I, not. Yeah, you're trying to dig yourself out of one here. And, kind of hard to hide that, Dan. Yeah. I know that one's that one's a bad example. Where are you going with this, really? Because <laughs> none of it's really making sense. <laughs> it's not. It's none of it's making sense. No, it's cool, man. You've thought about it. Yeah, it's fine. Text right in. No, I <laughs> just tuned in. Did you guys forget that you're on the air? Uh, Mike Bryan has spent a lot of this segment with his head in his hands. And I feel like that's just his management position, where he's just thinking, oh, this is going to be on a blog, it's wacky hijinks, it's morning show hijinks, I'm going to deal with management, management, corporate social responsibility. I don't even know how the hell we got here. How did we get here? Uh, the, the Prince Fielder bet. Low-hanging fruit. Yeah. Low-hanging fruit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised is how we got here. <laughs> Which, yeah. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I feel like everyone's in the same position as me, where if you're doubting Stugatz's, you'd be surprised. It's because you've thought that you wouldn't be surprised. You want us all to be in this with you? I yeah, feel like yeah, everyone yeah, is yeah, in yeah, this yeah, with me. I've, I've never given the assumption. Yeah, yeah. In no. fact, if I had to place a bet, I'd say, you know, average to yeah, above average. Uh, maybe. maybe. Yeah, con he's got a bravado about him. Yeah, I'll go with the other. Man, I'd take average. Or is that a Napoleon complex? <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that's true. That's true. I'd even take slightly below average.